Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, the Chapter 2 Day 3 Patrol got underway from Central Square, where we found a new issue of the Crossbell Times to read, then into the downtown district where we met with Risha and upgraded Teal's weapon, before we then headed through Station Street into the train station itself, where our first support request of the day awaits. All right, then. First quest of the day. Oh, are you the special support section by any chance? We are. We received your support request and came to inquire for more details. You're an inspection officer from Calvert, correct? That I am. My name is Marlow. I was transferred here from the Republican Army. I'd like to get started right away. That is, assuming you'll accept my request. Sure. Why not? It should be limited to here, so I shouldn't ruin any dialogue, right? We'll be glad to lend a hand. Thank you. Allow me to bring you up to speed. It's rather simple, actually. This request only consists of one task. You'll be assisting me with conducting an inspection on a train bound for Calvert. Oh, well, there's a coincidence. An Imperial inspection officer had us lend a hand with that once, so we should be able to manage. We just have to check to see if there are any suspicious people or items on board, right? Precisely. Your experience in the matter will make this much easier. Keep in mind that security is currently much stricter across the city in light of the trade conference. Not only is our inspection process more rigorous than usual, we're also expected to cooperate with the police department. We simply don't have enough inspectors to handle the increased workload right now, hence my request. The next train to Calvert is now arriving at Platform 1. Please watch your step as you make your way to the platform. That's our train. I'll give you all the details once we're on the platform. Inspection on the rails has now started. Please keep your hand and feet within the vehicle at all time. Especially your head. I'm guessing those adverts in every country where the guy sticks the head out the train and then loses the head, right? I guess that was in every country, right? Whoa, look at that. Common theme, after all. It's the Isengraf, a train used exclusively by the Imperial government. Its regal design is almost a symbol of the Empire in and of itself. There's certainly something very Imperial about it. Well, the Blood Knight Chancellor did arrive on that circus on rails. That cocky bastard sure loves to stand out. It's very impressive, I'll give it that. I am willing to bet they didn't spare a single mirror building it either. Yes, and its appearance is far from its only impressive aspect. I hear that the Isengraf is also the fastest orbital train in existence. That claim is still unverified, however, as its exact specifications have yet to be publicly disclosed. That's still pretty impressive. I wouldn't expect any less from a nation with a railway infrastructure as robust as Erebonia's. No one else on the continent can match them in that respect. That much is clear. The Empire's in a league of its own in more fields than one. Ahem. If you're quite finished, I would like to explain the details of the request. So, sorry, we didn't mean to get distracted. Please continue. Thank you. As I mentioned before, I would like your assistance with our inspection duties. Some of you will be examining all of the passengers' entry applications and luggage. The rest will participate in a safety inspection of the train itself. What does a safety inspection entail, exactly? You would be assisting me directly. I'll be providing a set of instructions to follow for a series of checks. Uh, I see there are six of you in total. We'll have you form three pairs, then. Two to inspect the cabins and one to act as my helpers. Pairs. I think I remember working individually last time. Yes, that's the way it went when we assisted with an inspection earlier this year. Oh, that's right, you've done this before. Typically, one person would be enough, yet, yes. This time around, however, we will need to be more thorough. The conference calls for stricter inspections, hence why you'll be doubling up. I see, that makes sense. I'll let you decide how to divide yourselves up. Though if you're having trouble, you could always resort to rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? That's right, strictly speaking, there's no real need to put too much thought into these teams. The sooner we start, the sooner we finish, which I'm sure would be in both of our best interests. Well, in that case, I don't have any objections. What about you guys? It sounds like a good time to me, so why not? How shall we decide who plays whom? Uh, I have a suggestion, actually. Everyone goes simultaneously, and if two people choose the same pair, they'll form a pair. Or the same shape, they'll form a pair. Then repeat the process until all of you have paired off. You seem awfully familiar with this. Uh, more or less. We divvied up our will on this to mix things up from time to time back when I worked in Calvert. It's a flexible concept these stuck-up Erebonian inspectors would never use. I'm not sure I'd call that attitude very flexible either. 
it likely boils down to the differences in their country's cultures. Eh, potato, potato. <laughs> anyway, want to give it a whirl? Sounds good. All right, guys, on shoot. No, I, I better not be DP for this. Thank you, please. Rock is the best one, isn't it? By a small percentage margin. You and I were the only ones to play scissors. The both of us will form the first pair then. That leaves three rocks and one paper from the rest of us. We'll just have to keep playing until we get another team. Yeah, on to round two. Okay. I'm just trying to. What? What? What Mario game was this where we had the uh, Rochambeau Tower? I think it was uh, Color Splash, wasn't it? Let's double down. Noel and I both played rock. No complaints for me. Let's give this inspection everything we have, Lloyd. I got Noel, did I? That leaves us cool kids to form the third team. You cool with that, Wazzy? Sure, this should be fun. Looks like you're all ready to go. How should we split up the work? Well, let's see. I need help moving something, so I'd appreciate some extra muscle from the men. Sounds like a job for me and Wazzy. Wonderful. Now I regret being matched up with you. Ah, uh, you better believe I'm going to work you too hard. Now then, if we all decided, then let's proceed to our posts. I want the other two teams to split up the passenger cabins. We made the announcement already, so let everyone know you're assistant inspectors and you should be fine. Roger that, sir. Ah, I wanted to go all the way, if that was even possible. Alright, we're in charge of the last two cars. Looks like that gives us quite a few passengers to inspect. Right, let's give each of them a good fire checking. I'm gonna check you so far. Present your rears. <laughs> what? <laughs> Puts on the glove. <laughs> Excuse us, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Oh, ma. I hope you're doing all right. Um, I don't think he heard you. Um, excuse me. <laughs> glove, snap, but that'll get him up. Uh, uh, s sorry about that. I was facing out, wasn't I? You're the inspection officers, right? Please go right ahead. Thank you. This should only take a few moments. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. We appreciate your cooperation. Of course, no problem at all. Really? Ready for my hometown in Orred State. I hope Mars doing all right. Right, you too. Excuse me, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Sure, go right ahead. Good luck with your inspections. <laughs> Thanks, we'll be done in a gym. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. Thanks for your cooperation. Not at all, it's only right that I let you do your jobs. Thank you, bye-bye. You're welcome. We're going to visit my parents over in Calvert. My little girl is so eager to see her grandma and grandpa. Just look at that smile. Yay, watch out, grandma and grandpa. Here we come. Partners, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but when we see your entry papers and check your luggage. Eh, yeah, I've been waiting for you. Go right ahead. Do your worst. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> uh, okay. Why is this guy so excited? He really likes the inspections. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. Thanks for your cooperation. Ah, so did you notice, eh? This folder full of contracts. I'm in the middle of some big, big negotiations right now. These bad boys are going to make me a killing. Oh, I can't wait to get these signed, sealed, and delivered. Oh, oh, how about that? I, uh, I hope it goes well. So that's what the enthusiasm was about. He just wanted to show off. If I could just close this business deal, I'll be raking in the profits in no time. <laughs> can't happen soon enough. Hello, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry paper as Anne check your luggage. No trouble at all. Go right ahead. Okay, that should do it. Your papers and luggage all check out. There's just one thing. Oh, something wrong. Also, there doesn't appear to be a boarding pass in your carry-on here. Care to explain? You, you didn't see my ticket? No, no, no. That can't be. I'm, I'm absolutely positive I placed it in my bag. I can't find it. Where could it have gone? Is it in my pocket, perhaps? Perhaps not there either. Uh, I'm sorry, but would you mind waiting just a moment? I know my ticket's around here someplace. I'll show you as soon as I dig it out. 
Uh, all right, we'll give you a minute and come back. Let's continue inspecting the others. We'll keep an eye on him and circle back. So, you can leave it for a bit. Oh, he's lost his ticket. I don't think he's suspicious. I just think he's unfortunate. Well, there's some people that are suspicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just as I heard. The Isengraf is a true marvel of engineering. I can hardly contain myself. <sighs> oh, whoops, I don't want anyone seeing that. Did, did she just start drooling just now? Do you want to meet cute? I know this guy outside. You might be uh, right for each other. Uh, pardon us, we're assistant inspectors. Can't you see I'm busy train watching? Everything you need is in the bag. Go ahead and knock yourselves out. Uh, okay then. Okay, your luggage and papers will check out. Thank you for your uh, cooperation. Uh, how many more minutes do we have left together, my sweet? I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. She really likes trains, doesn't she? Says car-loving Noel. Excuse me, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Ah, you act as if you're making a request instead of a demand. Fine, fine, go ahead. Just try to make it quick. Right, this won't take long. Okay, your luggage and papers are all checked. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah, your gratitude doesn't mean much when I never had a choice in the matter to begin with. Is that all? If so, do me a favor and make yourself scarce. Uh, of course, if you'll excuse me. Ah, this job's a lot more stressful than I realized. We're done, yes? Good. Then make yourself scarce. Shall I leave them for last? That was more flop places. Hi there, we're assistant inspectors. Sorry to trouble you, but may we see your entry papers and check your luggage? Uh, why do we have to let you go through our stuff? Uh, hey, knock it off. There's no need to be rude to the guy. Sorry about that. My sister can be a bit of a handful. I promise you she isn't trying to be a little brat on purpose. Why do you think- Who do you think you're calling a brat? Some older brother you are. Um, I can start, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, your luggage and papers are all in order. Thank you for your cooperation. It's fine. If anything, I should be apologizing for what my sister put you through. What the hell? If anyone should be apologizing here, it should be me for having a big fat idiot for a brother. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I have the most annoying little sister in the world. Oh, my brother's such a dumb jerk. Good day, we're assistant inspectors. His outfit. Is that man with hay away? Can we help you? Hmm, what's going on here? Wait, Shin. You, you're from the SSS. What are you two doing here? We're assisting with train inspections as part of a support request. Having said that, we're going to need to check your luggage and papers. So that's it. Even the mighty SSS isn't about menial drudgery like this, are they? Very well, if that's the case, then hurry up with your inspection. We literally gave you a tour. What makes you think we're above this? For a mob boss child. <laughs> and done. Your papers and luggage are good to go. Thanks for your patience. Mm, I was merely cooperating with they had to. Goodbye, you two. Yeah, take care, Shin. I think that's everyone. Oh, that's another place. Now we just have to check back with the elderly gentleman who couldn't find his ticket. He's in the fourth car. Right, time to make our way back there and see if... G give me back my ticket! Lloyd! Yeah, let's go. You're not fooling me. I know for a fact that it was one of you two. Now who did it? Fess up already! Uh, excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, it's the inspector from before. You got here just in time, inspector. This old fart is accusing me of ste- Old fart? Why, you no good cheeky. Uh, everyone, please calm down. We can't sort this out until each of you gives us your side of the story. Now I get the full picture. You bought a ticket to a red state that seated you in the fourth car of this train. What's more, these two gentlemen claim to have made the exact same purchase themselves. And now your ticket has gone missing, you're accusing one of them of stealing it. Do I have that right? Yes, exactly. There's no doubt in my mind I had that ticket on me when I walked onto the train platform. I could have lost it between here and there. That doesn't make a lick of sense. The only reasonable explanation is that one of those two stole it. 
I understand why you'd think that, sir, but we can't jump to conclusions just yet. It's all right, it's all right. Let him believe what he wants, I say. He's just a senile old man, after all. How dare you, you little... That's enough. You two need to settle down and be rational about this. We're not going to get anywhere if you keep hurling insults at each other. Well then, I have a simple question to ask the two of you here who do have a boarding pass. What is the purpose of your journey? Business? Pleasure? We need to know that before anything else. Y you want to know what we're traveling for? What does that have to do with anything? You're going to prove my innocence with that alone? Potentially, yes. A thief can't control the destination of a stolen ticket, so their reason for traveling may be fabricated. If that were the case, the culprit could slip up and make themselves known. You mean like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean now. Yeah, that does seem possible. That's perfect. Well then, answer the lad's questions. Oh, I will, and gladly of that. I am a merchant, and I'm on my way to broker some very, very important negotiations in Ored State. I have the contract right here. My client is a business in Ored known as the Lishing. Oh, is that Lishing? Lishing? What is it? Lishing? Lishing? <laughs> Must be. Sure. Go with Lishing. Lishing. Company. So tell me, what reason would I have to steal a ticket from this doddering, doddering old fogey? Uh, all right. Then what about you, sir? Uh, well, my hometown is in Orange State. Isn't that enough of a reason to travel there? No one's saying it isn't. That didn't help much. We won't be able to come to a conclusion at this rate. Ah, how amusing. These train goers think up the most bold face lies. Shin, what are you doing here? Passengers aren't supposed to move between cars during inspections. And you've already finished your inspections, haven't you? I think we can let this one slide. That's not... <sighs> Fine. At any rate, I only came because this scene you're causing seemed entertaining. Allow me to join in the fun too. The fun. So what lies were you talking about exactly? You'll see. Let's start with the merchant here. You claim to in negotiations with this Zhuxing company, yes? If that's the case, what's the nature of your contracts with them? This is nonsense. Why must I go along with the questions of some child? Ah, uh, if you must know, they involve the wholesaling of exotic vegetables and spices grown in Ored. As you may know, the state is quite renowned for its agricultural sector. As for the Xing Company, they are an affiliate of Heiwei Trading Limited based in the Eastern Quarter. They are about as legitimate as it gets. I believe that should erase any doubts. So you say, there is indeed a Xing Company in Ored, as I am well aware. However, at present, it's no more than a mere startup with no real foothold in the region. It's in no position to hold international negotiations, that much is for sure. What? How the hell would you know? A good question. I'll let him answer for me. It would be my pleasure. You, sir. I have enough of your insolence toward the young master. Listen well. You stand in the presence of the grandson of a Heiwei elder, Master Shin. A an elder's grandson? Y you must be joking. W wait, th that's Suchi Wang. I know I've seen it before. No, no, this can't be happening. Now do you understand? Now, come clean. What's your aim here? What are you really after? W well, I... Fine, have it your way. I'm sure you'll have fun telling the inspection officer all about it in the interrogation room. Wow, Shin's incredible. Yeah, he's a precocious one, that's for certain. And now it's your turn. Shin, so they both lied. <laughs> M me? What do you want with me? Isn't he your culprit? Oh, when did I ever say that? We're not finished here at all. You said that you're from Ored, is that right? Y yeah, I'm going back to my hometown. If you were born and raised in Ored, then you shouldn't have any trouble answering me this. Aside from its agriculture, Ored State is famous for its remote destinations, not to mention its many hot springs. So tell me this, which of these is a hot spring in Ored? A, the Elmo Hot Springs, B, the Palm Hot Springs, or C, the Ored Hot Springs? <laughs> I take it it's Elmo, right? <laughs> it's not Puff. <laughs> and like, it sounds like El Red Hot Springs is like a trick. <laughs> Help. Go on, answer. Huh? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows about the famous Ored Hot Springs. I see, I see. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you think I'm an idiot? You could get one over on a child. The Ored Hot Springs? 
There's no such thing. Who would ever establish a place with such a cliche name, you fool? If you were really from our estate, you would have simply answered that it was a trick question. Yeah. Uh, Elmo was in the boat. Oops. <laughs> Great. Good me. I would have failed this question, but then I don't come from where Ed, so I'm not the one on the stand being testimony giving. So, meh. Ugh. How about I ask you another question? Then, honestly, I only expect you to dig your grave even further. Where are you from, really? Uh, well. Um, not that it's any of your business, but I'm actually Calvardian. But, but, but I live in Ored now, really. Please, you have to believe me. Oh, do we now? What do you make of this special support section? We've established that each of them is guilty of deception. But which one is the ticket thief? Right, let me think it over. Who is more likely to be the ticket thief? <laughs> I guess because the merchant actually has documentation and contracts and they're going there. They're super excited and they were really bragging about it. It's probably the merchant is probably the one still telling the truth. Th just because like, okay, it's a startup and it's not necessarily doing international dealings. I get that. But it doesn't mean it can't. It just means it's a bit of far reaching. But the young man definitely doesn't know anything about Aura, just like I don't. <laughs> but I'd go against the young man on the basis that the merchant has documentation. That's about it. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Could be fabricated and forged documentation? I don't know. <laughs> They're both lying. <laughs> it's 50-50. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I all go with a young man <laughs> who knows nothing about the place he lives at, at all. I think you'd know that there was a hot spring where you lived. And I think you'd know its name and you never would get it wrong. I would suspect the young man. Granted, the merchant exaggerated the contracts he showed us, which I do find suspicious. While we may not know his motives, he clearly went to great lengths to fool us. Hinging all of that preparation on committing a misdemeanor wouldn't make much sense. Oh yeah, that angle. Oh, that makes way more sense, yeah. Okay, thanks, Lloyd, for explaining this, yeah. It's very premeditated versus crime of passion. That is it. We should also take into account that if the thief's destination is Norred, they could use the ticket to exit the train earlier. Which is what leads me to you. You're our culprit, aren't you? I, I, uh... Oh, well done, if only just barely. Thank you, Shin. There's no use feigning ignorance anymore. You can't keep covering up your lies. Show some honor and confess your crimes. But please don't turn me in! What? And why wouldn't we? It's my ma. She's in hospital in Calvin. That's why That's why I had to go to see her. There was no other way. Oh, crime of passion truly then. Well, this took a turn, didn't it? Go on, explain yourself. Uh, okay. The truth is I'm studying to get into St. Ursula Medical College, but my family is very poor. Ma sacrificed so much just so I could come to Crossbell. I've been paying my way ever since with part-time jobs. But then out of the blue, I got a call saying that my mask suddenly collapsed and was taken to the hospital, so I... Wait, do we know this guy? Considering it's a young man, it doesn't have a name. We should recognize the guy if it was the guy inside the, uh... Times department store was shopping for ingredients, right? You wanted to visit her, but didn't have the mirror for a ticket, so you stole one, isn't that right? Yes, it's true, I did it! I'm so sorry, all I want is to be there for my ma. I sympathize with your circumstances, but a theft is still a theft, and we can't overlook that. Now about this. I'll pay for your ticket. Huh? Really? What do you say, old-timer? If he returns your ticket to you, will you be willing to forgive and forget? Well, as long as I get the dang thing back, I'll have no reason to press charges. As for you... Y yeah Visiting your mother with a stolen ticket. Do you think she'd be happy to know that you did such a thing? W well, I... Don't misunderstand my kindness. I may be footing the bill, but this is no gift. It's merely a loan. Ooh, a loan with Hayaway. 
I won't put a hard limit on when you have to settle your debt, but believe me when I say you will do so. I... I understand. Thank you so much. I'll pay you back, I promise. And you better keep that promise. With that, the matter is resolved. You two call the inspection officer over. I'll give him an explanation myself. Right. He now knows a th owns a he owes a favor to the mob. <laughs> That's never good. I've been informed of the situation. Good work handling that theft case. Oh no, we were just doing our job, barely. What do you plan to do with the thief, though? Will he be punished or released? Actually, as far as we're concerned, all charges have been dropped. Really? Just like that? Indeed, the victim stated that no theft had occurred and that he had no intention of taking legal action. According to him, the young man simply neglected to buy a ticket, and it was all just an honest misunderstanding. If nobody is willing to admit that a crime took place, then there's nothing for us to investigate. Ah, this is all because of that kid. You're right, that was probably the story Jin told them to stick to. He really knows how to spin a narrative. What about the merchant, though? That man, on the other hand, is very much under arrest. <laughs> it turns out his true identity is that of a counterfeit ticket broker. Counterfeits? What was he doing on the train himself, then? Testing out his own product, it seems. <laughs> what? He's bold, I'll give him that. How unexpected. The bottom line is you kids did stellar work today. Thank you once again for your help. You're welcome. We're glad we could make things easier for you. Don't hesitate to contact us if you ever need our assistance again. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. So long for now. He got... If that kid hadn't stole the ticket, he'd have got straight through. So if that kid actually really helped find a criminal... <laughs> by his act of criminality... Does that make it good? Two wrongs do not make a right. We do know that. Speaking of making things easier, it sounds like Shin played a major role in this. He sure did. I never expected to run into him here of all places. Me neither. If anything, it's reminded us of how cunning he is for his age. Yeah, imagine how big a pain in the ass he'll be when he's older. I'm starting to regret not having the chance to meet him myself. His bark is worse than his bite. Elder son or not, he's still just an adorable little boy in the end. <laughs> That's true enough. Anyway, I think we can close the books on this one, team. Let's take a little break and hit whatever's next on the agenda. That was the inspection on the rails complete. We just about made it. Didn't actually make the obviously trying to make, like, evidence to get through a thing. And not be caught for the ticket. Link. But at least the contracts led me to more than a 50% choice of the other option. A young man. Ugh. And no one's got new dialogue after it. That's the thing. You do wonder if how this quest would go if you take Ellie? Oh, shouldn't we just tell us that right, right? Right, well, quest one of the day is complete. I was going to go St. Ursula Road Monster Route and to St. Ursula to do that. Well, I guess we'll go East Street instead at this point. And we'll go do the outer regions that way, okay? I'm just wondering, was there a plus DP for this? There was indeed. We're making the right choice, surely. Thanks for the reports, everyone. If you finish more support requests, please let me know. All right, two more remain. Well, you know. Two more remain, and we've always had a hidden quest every day, so... Hopefully, talking will dig that up. To be honest, I'm pretty certain I know what will most likely be the lead-in for that. So, we'll see. Why is working at Spinny Toy Store now? I'm so happy you finally found a job. <laughs> I'm happy for Roy, but kind of won't we too? <laughs> I used to off the perimeter of Orcus Tower this morning, and I still wanted to see the leaders of all those foreign countries for myself. I said it was in the interest of safety, though, so I suppose I can protest. Ah, don't run away. Today is the main session of the trade conference. I sincerely hope that Mayor Croyce and Speaker McDowell get to show everyone what Crossbell is made of. Wonder how the quest would have gone if you didn't do the hidden Shin quest? That have changed much? Oh, I guess it would have. 
Because you wouldn't even know each other, so why would they help? Doesn't mean he wouldn't be on the train, I guess, but... Oh, yeah, I wonder how that would have played out. As he's been coming home every three or days or so lately, he always brings leftover snacks and stuff from his job, too. Hazel told me about some weirdo who came into the bar yesterday. He was blonde, wore a white coat, and carried a loot with him. The guy gave an impromptu concert and hit on every girl who walked in. She's probably talking about the prince, sir. Uh, oh, you mean probably? Who else could he have been? Hazel doesn't usually talk much about what goes on at the bar. That guy must have been a real nut job for him to go on and on and on and on about him. Yep. These are the things we like to share. Fran told me that we'll be keeping it very busy today. That's hardly a surprise. The trade conference must be stressful for everyone on the force. I've been praying that it'll finish without any trouble. Oh, would you look at this? Fran left without a lunch again. Honestly, that girl. I suppose I have no choice but to bring it to her myself. Wait, is she leaving it on purpose so your mum visits? How's the bomb family doing? That's father's bed. Mine and mother's is this one. Are you listening, Marie? Meow. Yeah. I'm teaching Marie where all the different things in her house are so she doesn't get lost again. She'll understand eventually. I just have to be patient. I want to talk to Marie. Come here, Marie. 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 You're being a cat. Marcy works in a similar field to me. Every once in a while, we'll get together and make predictions on stock market trends. Airbonian brokers have their own unique perspectives, so I find it interesting to confirm him. I guess I should get ready to leave for work. I'm curious about the trade conference, but I'll have to wait to read about it in the Crossbell Times. Our neighbor across the hall is very generous. He'll even share his extra food with us. Though I do get the impression that he misses his own family dearly. Must be awfully lonely having to relocate for work. I can't imagine being separated from my family the way Marcy is. Being with them make gives me all the happiness I need. The trade conference is sure to influence stock prices. A broker such as myself will need to watch the market like a hawk. And that's the case your apartment's done. Let's check out Woi. Woi. I love the thrill of racing other shoppers to see who can snatch up the best deals first. That's part of what makes sales and bargains so much fun. There's no greater feeling than buying something you actually wanted at a massive discount. It's even better for me since I can keep any Mary left over as spending money. I mean, this kid's been born with an old soul, I feel. I asked Kronk if I could work for him, and to my surprise, he hired me on the spot. Man, I guess I should have been looking for a job at the stalls all along. Kronk's going to put me in charge of making simple handicrafts and handling the mirror. I'll have to learn the ins and outs of the job little by little. I hired Roy to work at my stall. It's no surprise he's diligent, given being Chairman Moore's grandkid and all. I'm expecting big things from him. I think new still, though. I hope Roy's ready, because I plan on teaching him everything I know. Yeah, this is pretty fun. It's almost like I have a disciple or something. Would he kill Dins to study economics a little at least? He's a business owner himself, for Adius' sake. As his longtime friend, I need to do something before he runs his stall into the ground. There's going to be a lot of economic discussion during today's conference session. I've never understood the stuff personally. As long as my stall gets to stay open, I'm all good. Whatever way the economy goes, I'm not going to let it stop me from putting my customers first. I never understood any of that financial mumbo jumbo anyway. You need to understand it to keep it running. At least at a base level. The meals at our house have become much less involved since I stopped doing the chores. For one, my husband and sons keep wasting our mirror on food deliveries. We have a big family. They can at least try to be a little more economical. Sheesh, how can men be so thoughtless? God, what am I doing at the marketplace again? I'm supposed to be boycotting house, but there's no reason for me to be here anymore. 